That's it for the William Reed. They're off. This is brutal power wrapped in an elegant machine. And Black Caviar strides away to win it by four lengths Karuna Queen. Since her final victory more than a decade ago, the aura of Black Caviar still surrounds the racetracks she conquered. It's just an absolute privilege to be here and see her go around, isn't it? 15 Group 1 wins from 25 undefeated starts. This is unprecedented. 10 straight, 14 straight, and the wonder from down under wins again. Black Caviar, 19 straight, and she's up there with the greatest ever. Three Australian Horse of the Year honours. The trailblazing triumphs of our Nelly, the world's greatest sprinter, have long been incomparable. Now Black Caviar, the pride of Australia, is the greatest show on earth. But that's why we love racing. There are always cases to be made. And that's particularly true of this patch of turf Imperatrice right here. is flying now. Imperatrice has got her. Imperatrice, the Kiwi and Opie, and the Tangerine Tsunami is going to do it again. Imperatrice is unbeaten at the Valley. All hail the Queen of the Valley. The Tiako headliner also amassed an incredible six Group 1 victories last year. Imperatrice has swept past all of them. Imperatrice, the star wins. More than any other horse in the world. Imperatrice lunged, got there. Imperatrice, another. As Imperatrice prepares to defend her William Reed title, the superstar mare will be going for her 10th Group 1 victory. But for those relatively new to the sport of kings, there's possibly an even greater benchmark when it comes to this race in particular. Away they go. Manicato didn't begin all that well. He's taking a while to muster speed, but now he's going quickly and is going to try and hit them off. When I first started calling races in 1979, a remarkable three-year-old went from boy to the man in the William Reed Stakes. And Manicato's coming away to win it brilliantly. The following year, was even more impressive. Manicato won by five lengths to Halper. But due to leg and temperament issues, the pressure mounted to retire the mighty Manicato. I again just resisted all those pressures and said, well, the horse will tell me what he wants to do. Trainer Bob Hoisted had a different vision and prepared the horse to make it three from three. The chance still in front. Turf ruler trying hard to run him down. Won't make it, Manicato. Then four. He's got it one four. And ultimately, an unprecedented fifth straight win. The man is hanging on Manicato. Jawbeck lunging down the outside, but he's got home. Manicato, he's done it again. Acquired for a mere three and a half thousand dollars, his remarkable record boasts 25 stakes level victories, all now recognised as Group Ones. That's ten more than Black Caviar. A year after retiring in 1983, the Hall of Famer passed away. A flame that shone brilliantly, but all too briefly. He conquered racetracks across the nation, but it was here at the Valley the man had a special bond. And Manicato given his head dashed away as they turned for home 200 to go. That's why it was decided Mooney Valley would be his permanent home. It's Manicato's mansion. On Saturday, Imperatrice has a chance to build a residence of her own and write her name into Mooney Valley folklore. Well, a star might have been born. We know how good Imperatrice is. We've seen it here at Mooney Valley. Wowee!